morning. We are once again without overflows. Love is innocence. In love, when you are deeply in love, first form disappears and you become innocent like a child. And this is the situation Devi is in deep love with her concert Shiva. And like an innocent child, she is wander stuck. She has a deja vu. Therefore, she asks Shiva, what is your reality? Who you are really? I am not concerned with your form. The form has disappeared. And when form disappears, the form of your beloved disappears, you want to know what is the reality. Then the question arises, in love, you enter the other as himself. It is not you answering, you become one and for the first time the two becomes one. There is oneness, there is harmony and for the first time you know an abyss. Abyss means formless presence. That is why for centuries, since the dawn of human civilization, we are not making any scriptures, any pictures of Shiva. We were making the symbol, Shivaling, the symbol. What is Shivaling? It is a formless form. When you love someone, when you enter someone deep within, crossing the narrow boundaries, it is like from the gate, you open the gate and enter the compound, passing through the various parts of the house, you enter the bedroom. You have entered the deepest core. Then that person becomes a luminous presence for you. Shiva has become a luminous presence and this is symbolized as Shivaling. There is no form. It does not have the, the image of Shiva or Devi, just symbol, just an aura of light. Some of these shivlings evolved on their own. Nobody developed them, created them or anything. That is why Devi is asking Shiva, what is your reality? What is this wonderful universe? We know the universe, but do we know as wonderful? Only children know, lovers know, sometimes poets and madmen know, but we do not know that the world is wonderful. Everything is just repetitive for you. No wonder, no poetry, just life is prosaic, just a flat prose. The life as you know does not create any song, any dance in you. It does not create a dance in your steps either. It does not give birth to a poetry in you. In you. When you are in love, the form has disappeared. Then 
the world's overflow, the entire universe to you looks mechanical. Children look at it with a wonderful eyes. That is why it is the word used desavu. When the eyes are wonderful, the universe becomes wonderful. At that moment, when Devi is in the company of her consort Shiva, the form has disappeared. There is only formless. She wants to know what is his reality. She is wonder stick. When you are in love, you again become like a child. That is why Jesus, when he was asked, who can enter the kingdom of your father? Only those who are childlike, who are like children, will enter the kingdom of God. Why? Because if the universe is not wonder, you cannot be religious. A religious person is one who is stuck dumb, who has experienced days of woo. Everything comes to him like a days of woo. Universe can be explained. Then the moment you can explain the universe, it becomes scientific. Universe is either known or unknown, but that which is unknown can be known one day. There are two words, known and unknown, but there is something beyond that which is unknowable. God is unknown and unknowable. Love is unknown and unknowable. You can experience it in a moment of solitude, in a moment of total surrender. Then you will know the reality of your beloved. Universe becomes unknowable and that which is unknowable is the mystery. Love is an unknown but realized truth. Unknown and unknowable but realize truth. You can never know, but you can experience it. You, the words fail to express what you feel about your love, about your beloved, about your lover. Only your eyes are wonderful. It is like a dumb who has eaten a fruit he enjoys his expression, gives the taste of the fruit, but he does not, he fails to express it. Davis says, what is this wonderful universe? Suddenly there is a jump from personal question to very impersonal question. She was asking, what is thy reality? This is the personal question. All of a sudden, she moves from that question to impersonal question. She asks, what is your reality? A personal question. And then suddenly, she switches over to this question, what is this wonderful universe? This is it's, it's unique. When form disappears, your beloved becomes the universe. Simple thing, you are sitting in a room, room has a form, it has walls, it has doors, it has ceiling. When all these disappear, the space that was within the four walls of the room merges with the outer space. So the inner space becomes the outer universe. That is why it is said the outer space and inner space is same. That's why it is said, whatsoever is in the universe is within you. Whatsoever is outside the space is inside your room. 
But here it is bound by form, by the walls, by the roof, by the ceiling. But outside it is open. So this personal question, what is thy reality? The moment the form disappears, Shiva becomes formless to her. The boundaries are broken. There, is, there are no more boundaries that encompass his presence. That presence has become cosmic presence. That's why Devi asks, jumps from personal question, what is thy reality, to this impersonal question. The impersonal question, what is this wonderful universe? The inner space and the outer space has become one. The inner existence that you know as being has become a cosmic being. Devi becomes, is, has become aware that she is not asking a question about Shiva. She is asking a question about the whole universe. Now, what happened in the moments of love, in the moments of Dezavu, your lover becomes universe for you. He becomes cosmic. And that is what formless means. Now Shiva becomes the whole universe. Now all the stars are moving within him. The whole filament, the whole firmament and the whole space is surrounded by him. When you were in the room, a certain specific space was occupied, surrounding you. When you are in the outer space, the form has disappeared. Now everything surrounds you. You are surrounded by the cosmic space. This is what enlightenment is. Now he is great engulfing factor, absorbing factor, the great encompassing factor. Carl Jespers has defined God as a great encompassing. When you enter into love, into deep intimate world of love, the person disappears, the form disappears, all narrow boundaries merge into the whole. Lover becomes a just a door to enter into the outer space. Your curiosity can be scientific one. Then you have to approach through logic. Then you must think of the... Then you have to think of through the logic. Then you must not think of the formless. You have to be beware of the formless. Then remain content with the form. So when you enter love into deep, intimate love, what happens? When you enter into love, deep, intimate love, the world of love, what happens? Talk again.